Hello and welcome to episode 11 of Rebuilding Vicenza. The eagle-eyed among you will spot that things have not gone well at all and we have been relieved of control of Vicenza. Um, yeah, we're trying to wrap up the season. As, uh, as those who follow Football Manager will know that the full version of the game is released tomorrow. Uh, I was trying to get through to the end of the season so we could wrap up this series in time for the new Unemployed to Unstoppable, which will start tomorrow. Uh, I came up with a great idea of going on manager holiday and when I returned to see how progress was going I no longer had a job. So um, yeah, as you can see, we've taken the decision to terminate your contract. They expected to be higher in the league than we are, but we needed to make a change to improve the situation. So I'll just take you through um, where we were when, when I went on holiday, uh, the results since I went on holiday and maybe kind of figure out where it all went wrong. So we go into the schedule. I know one of the games is pretty horrific. So last we saw you was Lazio Inter, where we got beat twice. And then went on a horrific losing streak where uh, I got beat 10-1 ten, ten by Juve. And that was on a five, a back five on defensive. Um, and I just couldn't stop them scoring. It was ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. Um, every time they had a shot, it went in the top corner. And I took it as a bit of a blip. Um, we then went on the run of fixtures where we had to compete against the team in and around us, and I just couldn't buy a goal. Um, so, yeah, we lost a lot of games. Um, they relieved of us, our duties, and they have picked up a little bit in form since then. Uh, in fairness to the save, what I'll do is I'll go on holiday until the end of the fixture list to see if without me they can save themselves. Um, it's a, a testament to them, not me, if they manage to do it. Um, like I said, it was a struggle, and from where we were in the, the previous episode, since coming up to Serie A, it's, it's been a real struggle. I mean, we've been beat 16-2 on aggregate by Juve. Um, a couple of good results. The draw with Sampdoria was all right. Um, I think it was another one against Fiorentina somewhere, or Udinese, and it was a friendly... Yeah, Fiorentina, we got a draw. Um, and we looked like we might pick up some points. It was going to be a struggle. We had no money in the budget to get anybody in in January transfer window. And it all very quickly spiralled downhill from there. So, yeah, not a successful season. It's not the way I wanted to wrap up the series. Um, we did get them into Serie A, which is a positive. So stick with me. I'll holiday to the end of the season. We'll see if... Um, their interim management can save them over the last eight games or whether they're destined to go back down to Serie B. So stay tuned and I will join you again shortly. And uh, Welcome back. So I've gone on holiday. Uh, I didn't apply for any jobs or anything. It was just for the purpose of seeing whether which gender has survived or not. I'm curious. I've not looked yet. Um, you'll be seeing this at the same time I do. Um, I hope they've stayed up. Um, I hope we gave them enough tooling to do so. Um, but again... It won't be through my arms. I am disappointed in, in being let go. It's the first time in a long time I've lost my job on Football Manager. Um, and it serves me right for trying to holiday while in charge of a football club. Um, but yeah, I had to get it done before tomorrow when the new new save starts because I, I don't have enough time between work and everything else to run two series. So yeah, sad way, sad way to end. But at least it lets you know that... Um, I'm not. I'm not frigging the games. I'm just. Um, I'm just in it with honest results. So, let's have a look then. So here you go. Bottom of the league. Twenty four points. Um, so some way off. It's yeah. It's it's sad. It's unfortunate. But um, it was also expected in the season preview. Again, second bottom. So we've come a little bit lower in same kind of ballpark as Perugia. So yeah, not great. I thought we did all right in the transfer window. I just felt there was there was too big a gap in terms of wage budget to get enough Serie A players in there. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not nice. It's um it's a left a sour taste in my mouth, but it's invigorated me for um for the challenge of the next unemployed to unstoppable. There you go, career milestones, Serie B champions promoted. So I mean, we did so well in the first season that it's such an anticlimax in the. In the second season and that goal difference of minus 13 just goes to show how much tougher it was in Serie A than Serie B and the Milan's Juve, Lazio, Roma 
Fiorentina. I mean, there's so many good teams in there that for a, a club coming up from below, unless you're either already full of Serie A players when you come up or you've got millions to spend, I'm not quite sure how you really transition that gap. But uh, thanks all who've watched the series. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more of what I do, um, please feel free to subscribe and join us for Unemployed to Unstoppable tomorrow where we'll start unemployed as an ex-Sunday League football player and we will look to maximise job opportunities and try and get to the Premier League and win something along the way. Um, last last season's FM21, we started um, unemployed. We ended up at Wealdstone, uh, Exeter, Millwall and finished at Newcastle. So, yeah, there'll be a, a journey, some stories, some players coming and going, um, youth development. It's all in there. So, yeah, if, if you like that sort of thing, um, hope to see you again. If not, take care. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.